Hi guys, it's me Peyton. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are making classic meatloaf and today is also my first time holding the camera. I've never done this before. It feels so weird, but like, I like this. It's really fun. I've seen lots of people do it and it's kind of like a vlog, but I can't hold it for the rest of the video because how am I gonna cook and hold the camera at the same time. That will just not work out very nicely. So my mom will hold it for the rest of the video, but I think this is really cool. I might do it for a couple other intros. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to have meatloaf for lunch today. Our first step is to crack an egg, which you already know I'm bad at. So my mom cracked an egg for me in this medium bowl and now we're gonna whisk it oh that was so weird we just popped. <laughs> now we're gonna get a half of onion and it can be kind of delicate because it falls apart kind of easily but you're gonna grate it on the large side that sounds weird Make sure you don't cry that much um, because I might because this one smells really pungent. Okay, I'm gonna do this off camera. So here is our onion. My mom decided to do it for me, but she cried like crazy. Um. So I'm glad I didn't do that job. But now we're gonna add our onions. What? Into our egg mixture. Oh my God, that smells horrible. So now you're gonna get some fresh parsley. To me it kind of reminds me of a tree, but it doesn't taste like it. Um, now you're gonna cut up enough parsley mm -hmm. to make two tablespoons filled with parsley. So now we have our parsley um, and we're gonna add it to our egg mixture. My mom makes meatloaf all the time and I'm guessing this is gonna be some good meatloaf because I never see her make it like this. And I'm excited. So now, we're gonna add some breadcrumbs. We're using gluten-free breadcrumbs because my dad is allergic to gluten and we wanna make sure he can have it too. So, mm. that actually smells good. <laughs> breadcrumbs, we're using gluten-free. Make sure you're not allergic to gluten or else you have to use gluten-free like we are. Um, some garlic powder and some Worcestershire sauce. Ooh, that was satisfying. It's not a satisfying smell, <laughs> but it was satisfying when you like <laughs> And now just mix. So now we're gonna add some milk. And once again, we are using the cups from Pamper Chef. Pamper Chef. I forgot the name for a sec, so I was like, Pamper Chef. <laughs> um, I really recommend their stuff. They're great. Some salt to make sure not to spill it. Rocky, some pepper, and some ketchup. Oh, that was like a blop. And you can use a spoon if it doesn't come out. And now you mix. So the next step is 
add some ground beef. And for the best results, you mix with your hands. I just watched them um, because I don't want to get any diseases, but I'm going to try to do some ASMR, but if it doesn't work, just so you know, I do not, I'm not a professional ASMRist or whatever you call them, so. Oh, that feels weird. It actually is kind of good ASMR. But make sure to wash your hands after, too. So, I don't really like the texture of that. So, my mom helped me get it in the pan, as you can see. And now we're make, um, making the topping for all of this. Add some more ketchup. And again, use your spoon if you need to. Try to scoop that all out. What did you add the ketchup to? Um, all right, we're gonna add some brown sugar into our ketchup. Well, really, we really did the brown sugar first, but it depends. And now you're gonna mix it. Now, once you have your ketchup and brown sugar mixture, you're gonna get your little spreader thing and spread it on to your meatloaf and do that with um, every single last bit of your um, ketchup brown sugar mixture. So now, um, this is really all we have to do. Now we just have to put this bad boy in the oven for 55 minutes at 375 degrees. Since we have some time to kill, I thought I would show you a little magic trick. How do you like my floating ball? In case you're wondering how I do this, it's actually really easy. Just get a ladle. <laughs> so our meatloaf is done and we got a slice. Well, what did I say slice? Yeah, I would say it's a slice. File. No, a slice of meatloaf. Yeah. So we put out a slice of meatloaf. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try a little bit of the covering and a little bit of. Because I burnt my finger on this, so that's why I'm doing. Oh my god. My face is a mess, right? No, you're good now. Okay. Um. This was really good. Oh my gosh. Is it better or the same or worse than the meatloaf I usually make? Um. Your meatloaf is crunchier. Okay. Um. But the flavor? I have to go better. Ooh, all right. Maybe I'll have to put this recipe in instead. Maybe. I think you should totally check this recipe out. It's a real hit. And if you, and if in your family you love meatloaf, this is a win-win because it doesn't take that much time, and it tastes delicious. So. Yeah, bye guys, hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, and turn on that post notifications so you never miss one of my videos again. Bye!